Okay, if you've been sticking with me for the last couple of videos, you may have noticed that I have done fairly easy crack me's, um, and I have done the reverse engineering on those so that uh, you could see how at least I was going through those and reverse engineering them. I understand that they're not the most difficult and the way that I'm doing them will not work on the more difficult ones. However, uh, being new to reverse engineering, uh, it made sense to start this way. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. Today, I wanted to patch a binary. So I know a lot of people say, hey, that's on the crack me's that's easy. OK, I get that. What I really wanted to do today, though, was compare the patching process in Ghidra versus the patching process in IDA. So I've downloaded the pretty damn easy key. Uh, let me see the pretty damn easy crack me off of the crackmes.1 one website. I uh, believe it is the third or fourth one down using the filters that I've been using this entire time. I'll go ahead and pull that up just so uh, we can all work on the same one if you're wanting to follow along. So search very easy C++, C++ Unix Linux. Do the search and it is the fourth one down pretty damn easy by Nutcake. <clears throat> okay, I have downloaded that and installed the exact same, I put the exact same executable in three separate folders. The root folder, which I'm not going to touch, PDE Ghidra and PDE Ida, both of which we're going to attempt to patch. Uh, you may have noticed that my interface looks just a little bit different today. So I just wanted to show you, I'm still on Ubuntu 18.04. I just decided to go with the ex-Ubuntu desktop, uh, be a little bit lighter on my virtual machine. And to show that all of these are the same file, I'm going to run a SHA-1 sum on the uh, base crack, the one inside of PDE Ghidra, and the one inside of PDE Ida. Running that, you can see that the sums on all of them are exactly the same. Nothing has been patched at this point. We'll go ahead and run the base one. And it asks us to input the password. We will just use test. It says wrong password, try another. That's perfectly fine. I have already pre-opened this in IDA to the main function. And I've got it to the important part right here. The jump not zero is where it's going to jump to wrong password or correct password. So jump not zero, uh, the green arrow, going to go to wrong password. I would like to change this to jump if zero, it goes to the correct password. So basically every password will work in this except for what would have been considered the correct password should we not patch uh, this specific um, executable. So to do that inside of Ida, you just highlight, go to edit, patch program, and assemble. I can change the instruction from jump not zero to jump zero. Hit OK, and then I canceled on the next one. Now jump zero is going to go to correct password. To output this, you do edit, patch program, apply patches to input file. I'm not going to create a backup because I already have that in the directory above. I'm just going to click OK. That easy. We'll go here and uh, I'm in the pretty damn easy nut cake. I'm going to go ahead and CD into the uh, PDE IDA, which is the file we were just working on. And to show, uh, there's a whole bunch of IDA files in there. Once I uh, compact the database and save and exit. Uh, all of those will go down to one file, but I do have the executable there crack. So let's go ahead and run that. Input the password test. It is the correct password because jump of zero was modified inside of that binary, making every password that was wrong before correct and every correct password wrong. So now I'm going to go to the Ghidra, okay? And 
And we're going to open this file up in Ghidra. Here it is, PDE Nutcake Crack. Open that file. Go ahead and analyze it. Uh, it's a small one, I'll just go ahead and select all. Do the same thing that we do before, where we double click text, search for main, and go down to the main function, which is right here. If you wanna see it in the graph view, just like we just looked at inside of Ida, here's the jump not zero statement is correct password, is wrong password. We wanna change this to jump zero. Sorry, if you mouse over that, it pops up. Okay, so we'll just click that and I can close out of this part and it's got me set right there, uh, right on the one that I was just clicking, okay? So to change it in I in um, Ghidra, sorry, lost my uh, train of thought there for a second. It is, I believe, Control Shift G. And it may not work because I just moused over everything and it's not wanting to play nice. Okay, so the processor received a rating of gold during testing. It is Control Shift G, by the way. You should rarely encounter an error, but please let us know if you do. So this assembler has been rated as gold to do this. So I want to change this to a jump if zero, okay, and leave that instruction exactly as is, just like we did on the last one. Hit enter, and there it is. Okay, here's the part where you internet sleuths have to help me out because I've read documentation. I've read the help file. I cannot figure out what I'm doing wrong here. You hit the O key to export, okay? You have all of these options here. I want to export it as a binary and I'm going to go ahead and put it into the Ghidra file and we will name it crack underscore bin to know that it is the binary file. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay, everything looks like it exported just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and export again as a C, C++. Crack C file. Okay. Again, everything looks like it exported just fine. So now I'm going to go to the PDE Ghidra file folder, sorry, directory. And you can see that I've got the crack underscore bin dot bin and the crack underscore C file dot C. Perfect. Okay. I need to make the bin file executable with the command chmod plus x and crack underscore bin dot bin. All right. Now you'll notice that it's green when I try to uh, show the contents of the directory. So let's go ahead and run it. Crack underscore bin dot bin. Seg fault. Okay, well, let's go ahead and build from the C file. And we're going to output as C file test. I get a ton of errors and it doesn't output. So here's what I'm asking all of you. What is it that I'm missing? I feel like this should be something that Ghidra does very easily, just like Ida. Super simple to do inside of Ida. I'm sure that I'm missing something here. Please leave comments down below and I will try to figure out what is going on. On a side note, before I leave you guys, I had skipped a crack me inside of the website, the key G me, uh, crack me because I couldn't get it to run. And somebody had left me a comment and I believe it got deleted. I don't know why I did not delete it. However, I do appreciate the comment. I did not have the x86, uh, things installed that I needed. I did find a stack overflow to make that happen. 
And so now I'm going to be working on solving this one. And as I stated before, I am new to reverse engineering. I'm training myself in between making these videos. So I'm sorry if uh, it is below uh, what several of you are already at out there. But I thought someone else who might be new would enjoy getting to see someone else who's new struggling a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.